Maybe the Wabba Jack is the book of knowledge. Maybe I'm smarter because I know cats can be mats, can be rats, can be hats, can be gnats, can be that, can be misses, and that doors can be bores, can be snores, can be floors, can be roars, can be spores, can be yours, can be mine. I must be smart. Well, the interconnective system is very clear to me. Then why? Or wherefore? Do people keep calling me mad? Boat. Moat. Coat. Float. Goat. Moat. Rote. Secret name, 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 secret name. He touches me when I'm not looking. Mother said there was no reason. It's just the way it is. Mother lies. I can see rain. I can feel rain. I can only feel wind. Someone is hiding. If I walk through the forest, the birds stop singing. They're talking about me. I'm sure of it. They're just too scared to do it to my face. <clears throat> Sometimes I hear the people talking about their days. They talk about family and the weather. And yesterday. And tomorrow. They say, what a good day it was. And how is your day? And have a nice day. I say, talk, 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 talk. How can you enjoy your day when you share it with everyone? Time, Time is a private thing. It's a private thing. The dragon hides it from us all. Parceling it out in dribs and drabs. Save, Save your, your time. time. I keep mine locked up tight. Where no one can find it. Not even him. Rock me gently. My tears are burning, dear. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Oh, your breath. Big one now. One last gasp. And we're done. He talks all the time. But his words are useless. Talking. Talking. Let's talk. Never doing. Always talking. Words become meaningless. They float on the air. Dissipate like past gas. Make him stop talking. Make him stop talking to me. Always take care when dealing with women. We see things they do not. A smile. A glance. They mean nothing to us. Everything to us. To them. We twist our smiles to meet their own. They avert our gaze just so. Watch us closely. They rule the world. We just don't know it. Am I decisive? Yes. They came to bring me food today. I ate it. Though I know it was poisoned. They lace it with black flour in edge root. They think it keeps me quiet, sedate. I know better. Sometimes I chew up the bread and spit it into the corners of my cell. No one notices. And the rats eat it after a time. It keeps them quiet. Sedate. When I eat the rats, the poison is more dilute. And I gain their memories. I don't believe it's fair that I'm forced to deal with the stupid. Or the obtuse. Or the pedantic. Yet they give me rules. Like go here. And do that. And eat this. And kill that. They don't know that I know their names. Eventually I'll get to them. And I'll make the rules. Just you wait and see. Good gods come and go, but... All lords eventually fall. A god can make a mortal. If I learn from my mistakes, will I eventually stop making them? Is there a balance I can achieve? A perfect harmony with myself? Shall I seek that point where there are no more mistakes to be made? All the lessons learned. When that happens, do we die? 
do we become gods? Do the gods even want us? Maybe all dogs go outside deliberately. Maybe a decision gets overly deliberate. Might a dream grow overly demented? He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. Stories are for children and dreamers. Poetry is for weaklings and madmen. Ethics glorify the vile and vilify the glories. Read minds. Not words. I think it's time to go. He's still in my head. But I think he might leave if I'm quiet.